Kazar, everyone, welcome to a 76 video. Today we're doing a quick little rundown on the Pepper Shaker, the new uh, shotgun weapon in the game, which is awesome. Now, I am running this without any modifications to my class, so it's basically if you don't have a class that this works with and you're just picking this up because you want to test it and you want to get the plan, I'm the guy to come to because I have no build. Therefore, I have no perk cards or anything aimed towards this uh, being improved that way. So you you get in your vanilla version of it straight out the bat. Um, so to make this thing, it's actually it's a little bit expensive at nine adhesive, uh, ten aluminium, twenty gears, eleven oil, fifteen screws, twenty springs, and forty-seven steel. But what do you expect? So I wanted to run through how fast and how accurate this thing is. So I tested. Uh, how long it takes to empty the 50 round drum that it's got uh, and with the standard barrel on it which is the quad barrel it takes 12 minutes 35 seconds that's over three testing periods i took the uh, the times all together averaged them down and that's what i got and then i moved on to the dual uh, barrel which is ugly as hell i don't like the look of the dual barrel i also don't like the way it moves when it spins i prefer the flak gun look uh for for the standard barrel but Got to test everything. So the dual barrel um, it does increase uh, the speed in which you fire, but not really by a lot. So obviously with the average being uh, 1235, this only knocks it down to 822. That's eight seconds, 22 milliseconds. Um, yeah, that's that's your average of, uh, once again, three test periods with the same thing. And then I thought, you know what, hex, uh, single barrel, not the hex barrel, the hex barrel is next, but the single barrel, is uh, it's basically just the same as the standard, but apparently fires more slugs downrange. So I was thinking, ah, maybe it'll empty a little bit faster then. And uh, yes, it does empty it a little bit faster. It takes it from 12 seconds, 35 milliseconds, to 12 seconds, 16 milliseconds. So, ooh, those milliseconds count, baby. Make sure to get them in. <laughs> but yeah, it looks better. And uh, definitely if you're using like the plasma aspect of this, this will be like a discount or a, <laughs> a knockoff plasma caster. Uh, but then, of course... Testing out the hex barrel, which does increase this uh, rate of fire pretty damn good. So, of course, standard once again being uh, 12 seconds, 35 milliseconds. This knocks it down by half to 6 seconds, 35 milliseconds. So, if you're trying to figure out what to buy, if you haven't bought all the plans like I did, and you want to just fire, you know, bullets down range, uh, just go with a hex barrel. It'll empty your magazine pretty damn quick. But uh, I also wanted to test out the laser magazine and the plasma magazine to see if it affected uh, rate of fire or if it affected the spread of the weapon. So I decided to go with laser uh, for the first one. And no, funnily enough, simply changing the type of damage output that it does, so taking it from standard shotgun bullets to laser shotgun bullets, because it's a kind of a combination of the both, um, it did not change the rate of fire, nor did it change the spread. It, it aims a little bit low with the laser, um, and the plasma one's pretty damn accurate. Uh, so, you know, with a, with a hex barrel on it, and plasma or laser, you've got like a really good imitation of a Gatling plasma, and all this other kind of stuff, that, to be honest, kind of looks better. Um, so it's all dependent on you. Plus this, of course, has the shotgun aspect to it as well. So you've got kind of two two damages for one instead of you know just your laser or your plasma so if you're a, if you're a ballistics kind of person but you want to add a little bit of energy damage and you're a heavy gun build this is the kind of thing to go through but uh, i also wanted to do some other testing on my new test dummies of appalachia which are of course super mutants who can take some of the most beaten out of everything uh, they do have of course their own weaknesses but i thought you know what i'll do a test run to see how each one comes through now of course sped up on the screen uh, hopefully a lot smoother than what i'm seeing but i wanted to run through and just see how it goes now i like i said have no build that this helps out and my armor is crap so i of course am stopping and starting and all that kind of stuff but the average clear out um for running it through just as standard was about a minute and a half two minutes uh that's just with this make sure everything's dead and i always finished by shooting the turret to make sure that i'd done a full run through uh and then i went through with the plasma one because the plasma one I'd, I'd just finished testing with it so i thought you know i'll do a plasma run through and uh, it was about the same it, i think i knocked off about five or six seconds overall um probably because i was also using cover and all that kind of shit after doing the first one but it, it they've all without uh, perk cards or anything working towards them they all roughly do the same kind of stuff um, I would recommend 
Though this weapon is kind of good at a distance, like a medium distance, I would definitely recommend getting up in their face. If they group up, it's really good because you if the shotgun spread does work through the back of them as well, so you can get to the you know two or three targets at once. Uh, but I would highly recommend getting up close and personal with this and making sure that none of the bullets miss. Now, as you can see, I'm doing like an average five, but with 11 on the head. Um, 10 or 11, yeah, it's it's a good weapon. Okay, I would definitely recommend farming uh, the, the event to get this, the Meat Week event. It didn't take me long. I think altogether it's taken me seven run-throughs of Meat Week to get, so I managed to get it pretty early, and I don't get plans. I'm not that lucky with plans. But yeah, there you go. There's your uh, your basic breakdown of the Pepper Shaker. If, of course, you decide to uh, check some other videos out, I would highly recommend Tia's video. It was a far more in-depth breakdown. Uh, but there you go, ladies and gentlemen. The Pepper Shaker. Good weapon. I highly recommend getting it. Uh, but apart from that, you guys know the drill. Like, share, and subscribe. And as always, stay awesome.